these ATM bandits, they were coordinated, quick, and they got away thanks to some good old-fashioned brute force. Thieves who destroyed an ATM to get the money inside. Crooks will sometimes go to unbelievably elaborate methods to get the cash. You need money. You remember withdrawing cash from an ATM down the street, then something clicks. Why not break open an ATM, retrieve a load of money, and disappear? Many people have had the same or similar thought process, but it's not that easy. ATMs are designed to provide the best security for the cash inside, structurally containing reinforced steel to protect against blunt damage, built to last the elements, embedded GPS tracking in case the ATM is snatched from its foundation, tamper seals with explosive ink to render cash useless. But it doesn't matter, this does not stop the countless ATM robberies happening worldwide. Well, how much cash is in an ATM exactly? Some ATMs can hold up to 200,000 at one time, to as low as 5,000. So it's definitely worth breaking into. You could try attacking an ATM while it's being restocked monthly or weekly depending on how frequently they are used. Of course, while the restocking is happening, there usually is security, so it's not really a viable option. Many attempt to find some sort of electronic hack to make the ATM spit out cash, even going to the point of pouring beverages into the ATM. Obviously, this doesn't work, and it just damages the machine. Electronic break-ins are viable, but they usually only work on older and more compromised ATMs. The general pattern in most ATM heists include a vehicle with a hook. This heist is a perfect example. They open the top half of the ATM with the crowbar. Then find a suitable nook to place the two hooks. He hops back into the vehicle and slams the gas pedal. completely destroying the locking mechanism and leaving the cash exposed. These black containers storing the cash are snatched up and brought to the getaway vehicle. And he left one. Here is a completely separate instance that uses a crowbar, metal hook, and truck method. They pried the chase ATM to the point of finding a suitable nook to place the hook. They get in the truck and floor it, but in this instance, the locking door is only partially pried open, and the cash is probably safe. Now comes the subset of ATM heists which attempt to knock off ATMs off their foundation. It follows the same process which is using a crowbar, or in this case an axe, to create or find a nook, then attaching a hook, but this time, taking the entire ATM. In-store ATMs are seen as easier targets for truck hooking since they're usually less fortified. This weak foundation allows the man to rip the entire ATM instead of just the metal panel. And just look at the damage left that happened to the storefront. Absolutely insane. Outdoor ATMs are physically stronger, but that does not mean they're safe from being ripped off. This group is willing to sacrifice their truck to knock off this Bank of America ATM. It's actually most likely that the trucks used in these ATM heists are stolen, which makes sense since they're willing to demolish it just to move an ATM. It's funny because after they do all of that, they try to crowbar their way in, which is obviously unsuccessful. And they retreat into what seems to be their actual vehicle, leaving the white truck behind, which is 100% stolen. The general pattern of ATM heist is to be equipped with a crowbar, axe, or hammer to create a hookable area for the truck to get a solid grapple on the ATM, floor the vehicle to max speed, and hope that there's some exposed cash, or the whole ATM is taken. And hey, maybe if you're lucky, you have an excavator to make it 10 times easier. 